So recently I told Daily Puzzles that I was interested in finding a few unusual cubes like the cuboid, the gear cube or the ghost cube, things they didn't have on their website and they were like, you know what, I think we could find those for you. And guess what? They did and so much more. So a huge thank you to them for all these things that I'm gonna be unboxing today. And I think it also goes to show that if a few of you tell them that you're interested in some products that they may not currently stock, they'll go and find them. They're that kind of a company. Well, my friends, 20 boxes, 25 puzzles, if you count all those six in there, and it's time to unbox them. So let's get into it. That did not work as planned. Do, 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 do. Click. Yep, you know you want to. Okay, let's start with the gear cubes. So this one's the three by three gear cube, which you could mistake for a regular three by three, but check this out when it turns. Yo, how crazy is that? So to sort of like complete a turn, you have to sort of like go like 180 degrees. If you just go 90 degrees, that center slice doesn't actually turn the whole way. So it needs to go all the way like that. All right, so I've done, I don't know how many revolutions, but you can see it sort of messes up the edges and you just have to like keep on doing that to eventually bring it back. Whoa, come on, buddy. There you go. I might actually give you a little scramble um, and see if I can solve it. All right, here it is. This is a really nice gear cube, by the way. It's Okay, let's see if I can do it. Okay, I've reached this really weird state. I'm not sure if I can actually fix this. Let's just keep trying. All right, I managed to flip these edges, but I'm having difficulty with these guys. I'm gonna have to do this later. It's pretty ad addictive, but I do have like 24 more to go, so. This guy, not gonna lie, I honestly don't even know its name. Um, <laughs> it looks like a scube to me. All right, so this is a soft state. <laughs> it's actually so hard to hold. And then how do you even turn it? Wait, what? Okay, so you hold like opposite corners and then you turn it that way. <laughs> And then that corner goes all the way there. Um, yeah. If I give it another revolution, does it solve itself? No, it doesn't. I'm just gonna keep on doing this until it goes back. <laughs> what is happening right now? Wait, was that solved? No. Ooh, that's a cool pattern. I'm gonna leave it like this, actually. That is so cool. I do not even understand what is happening inside this puzzle to cause that to happen, but... Cool, that's my other gear cube. Next up, these guys that are apparently called corn cubes. Uh, and you'll see why. Oops, that is not how you unbox. Or maybe it is, I don't know. That is why, <laughs> that is why it's called a corn cube because it looks like a little cob of corn. The wheel thing on the side is a really strange addition. I can't say I like it, I mean, Yay, but yeah, so, oh yeah, you just move those around. So this is really, really similar to that cylinder sort of puzzles that I got from McDonald's that I unboxed with Ola, and I'm guessing, come on, man, how oh, are these so hard to open? This is just the four version, and I'm guessing this is the five. Look, what's wrong with me? Five, cool. I'm not gonna scramble these because it's basically exactly the same as the ones that I did with my Macca's video. Go watch that if you haven't yet. That was really fun. Uh, but yeah, the three, four, and five corn puzzles, um, which were actually pretty fun to do. Next, I've got two three by three cubic puzzles, but with a little twist. Uh, this guy, of course, is the Penrose. Uh, many of you know about the Penrose cube. So it's literally a three by three, all right, except uh, with a few differences. There are a few pieces, for example, that are exactly the same, like this guy and this guy. Uh, and because of that, uh, and also because they're sort of like the same like centers, you can get all sorts of really fun and wacky parodies with this. So let's do a JB to see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. That, my friends, is a JB pound. So that's a gorgeous Penrose cube. And then over here, I have a Geo cube. The Geo cube is essentially a three by three, but with missing pieces. And I first got this one because it looked really scary. It didn't have as many missing pieces. Pretty easy to solve. Got that one, harder to solve. And finally, I decided to get Geo cube A, which I think, well, 
based on number of missing pieces is the hardest to solve. So are you ready, my friends? Here it is, Geocube A. <laughs> How great is that? It is so wonderful. You solve it exactly the same as you would solve any of the others. But yeah, let's do a JB to that top um, edge. So this is a JB because JB swaps these two edges and these two corners. Uh, but see, that's the thing. You need to like sort of fill in the gaps uh, and just use a lot of imagination with like, oh yeah, what piece should actually go where. Oh, I really want to do a solve. Let's do a really quick solve. It is so hard to even scramble. All right. <laughs> How good is this scramble? It's like, what even is that? It's like one lone corner just on its own. Okay, let's start with the white edge. Um, uh, that corner needs to go over there. And then this needs to go down there. And then I'm guessing there's one more corner here as well. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so that's his bottom bit done. I can't even remember what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. And so it goes up this way too. Uh, so this needs to go in here. Let's just use a keyhole for that. There we go. And then this guy needs to be up in the top. So filling in the blanks, this could be a T with those. So sexy sledge. Hey, how good is that? That's my T. And that actually looks like it's pretty close to finish. Sweet. So now I just need to move this guy to there and I'm done. Uh, that would be a U perm, right? A U perm would do that. I actually cannot remember which U perm does it. Let's just do this one. Hey, that was the one that did it. Sweet ass. That was a lot of fun. The cuboids. I have been wanting these for a very, very long time. Okay, let's start with the two by two cuboid. I am notoriously bad at solving these. I have tried before. I have friends who have let me, what is that? Oh, that must be one of the cutouts from that. I've had friends who have like let me use their cuboids before, but yeah, I am. I don't even want to like scramble this because I will not be able to solve it. Uh, my first impressions are that those are very, very large squares. Yeah. Eh, turns decently. Don't know how much I expect from a cuboid. Oh, does it shapeshift? <gasps> it does. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I should not have done that. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Um, 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 um. I'm amazing. I'm really not. So that's a two by two by four. And then over here I have uh, in a much smaller, much more reasonably sized squares. Wait, a three by three by four. Does this guy shape shift? Nah, that can't shape shift. See, the really tricky thing about this this one is that you can't do like, like all of your turns have to be like R2 moves. R2, L L2 moves. You can't do any like, you know, R moves and then like turn it that way. I've got a um, two by two by three. And I even that I find quite hard to solve, so. But yeah, ooh, so beautiful. I have to give this a go sometime. And then of course that leaves the, What is happening? <sighs> That's how you do an unboxing, my friends. That's how you do it. The three by three by five. Ho, 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 ho. <gasps> Can this guy shape shift? Oh my word. Ah, what is this? Um, 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 let's reverse it while I still can. That was not the right move. Let's reverse this while I still can. Was that the right move? Oh no. Did I even do that? I feel like I need to watch this like in the video to see what I did and then reverse it that way. Wait, there was this, it was this, it was this. It has to be that. Yes, my friends. And then, um, this, nope, oh, this, yup, yup, uh-oh, 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 no, 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 nope, this first. Genius, total genius at unscrambling five moves. 
get out of here. Anyway, there you go, my three cuboids, which once scramble, I will probably never be able to solve. Goodbye. Oops, speaking of not being able to solve, here are two things that I don't think you can solve. I don't know, maybe you can. So this is the Z cube, Z cube. Um, what is this? This is a, it's a pen holder, more than a puzzle. Okay, that is big. Oh, oh, it does turn. Okay, well, I guess you can solve this because you could do that. What's that for? Oh, okay. Let's do the checkerboard pattern. Yay, no, oh, you can't turn it that way. Yay, that's amazing. This is massive. You can store a lot of pens in there. Cool. And then this guy is a, <laughs> a piggy bank. A money box. Let's not rip it. Let's not rip it. I ripped it. Oh. Cool. Okay, so it's the same thing. Oh, can it turn this way? No, it can't either. They all just turn this way. Can you get your money out once you put your money in? Yo, so once you put your money in, it's in there forever. Um... Okay, if someone has any idea how to open this, tell me. Otherwise, this is a one-way, like, ticket for your money, dude. Yeah, okay. Woo! Next on the list of incredibly difficult puzzles, these... Ah, you again! These bad boys. I mean, these bad boys. So this is our... <laughs> Why do they make these things like that? Sorry, box. This is a bit of a cruel unboxing. <laughs> this is our two by two by one. This is a very cute puzzle, actually. I quite like this texture that the Z cubes are using. Can you see that like mesh kind of look to it? It's got a bit of a, almost like, feels like a Band-Aid. Anyway, this guy's pretty cute. And extremely hard to solve. I'm just kidding. I was trying to scramble it and I solved it. That's how hard it is to, to scramble. And then over here, should I even try? Now you know what? Take that. Yeah, you wanna see an unboxing? That's an unboxing. Uh, this is our three by three by one. Strangely made by the same company, but this is like, this is stickers. This guy feels so much nicer compared to that. So this guy, I believe, can shapeshift? Yes, it can. I have in the past been able to make pretty cool like shapes with it. Like this guy. Like this guy. This is my, I don't know what this is. So like robot thingy. Um, and it's quite easy to solve as well. Apart from a couple of oopses. There you go. It can go into some states where it looks like it's got a really weird parody, but because it's so easy to just you know, move individual pieces like that. It's really not a difficult puzzle at all. So yeah, this guy's cooler though. And keeping our theme of flat things, here are ghost cubes, uh, called ghost cubes because they have a really, really strange, um, I don't know, cut like to them. So this is a three by three by one. So let's do this guy. But as you can see, the way that it's cut means that you're gonna get really, really strange. That really feels like it's, oh, it is. It's like five axes, pentagon in the middle. That means it can turn, okay, I misjudged this. Can't even call this a three by three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's got 10 pieces on the outside. What is happening? Okay, I misspoke. This is not a regular three by three. I sort of want to scramble it, but I don't. I guess I do have a second one. Eh, let's just scramble this guy and see what happens. Okay, I get it now. So this is what you end up with. So it's very much like a five-sided puzzle. I think it shouldn't be too hard to solve. Oh wait, oh, okay, no, it would, it would be. This is where having, that was really easy to open. This is where having a second one comes in very, very handy because I can just refer to this uh, and it will tell me where my pieces will go. Wait, hang on, you can't move edges around. Yeah, edges just stay in place. You can you can misorient them though. So based on that, it looks like that edge needs to move like that. And this edge also needs to move like this. 
Right, there we go. So now I've got all my edges right, these guys. So now I just need to move these guys around. Let's go this first. And then that guy needs to go there. What is happening right now? Am I looking at it the wrong way? Should it be like this? <laughs> I'm looking at it the wrong way. I am a fool. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So this guy needs to be turned around. Yeah, okay, so I got all of those bottom ones, right? So it's just these top, these three that I need to fix. Why is this so hard? I am so sad to be saying this, but I cannot figure it out. I'm gonna have to do this later. That was a much harder challenge than I thought. Cool, I'm gonna enjoy this. But speaking of super crazy challenges, it is time for the original Ghost Cube. I'm not entirely sure about the history of the Ghost Cube. But I do know um, that just from seeing it on other people's, um, you know, YouTube channels and stuff, it is often the cube that people scramble and then never ever um, solve <laughs> because it's just so hard. So from what I've heard, the ghost cube is a three by three mod. Uh, you can see over here the three layers. So that turns, that turns. Um, but you may not be able to see you know, where they are this way. And that's because it can't turn that way until you misalign it. So like that, there we go. Now you can see how it's a three by three, right? That's your uh, centerpiece and then edge, 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 edge and corner. <laughs> how good is it that that's a corner piece? And then same over here, right? That's that three by three, three by three, three by three. And so the crazy thing about it is that this is what you need to solve the cube into. And so if you're trying to like, you know, make F2L pairs or making a cross or whatever, it's like, how do you figure out that like this is the correct cross? It's like, you know, how, how do you tell that this goes with this piece? And then only when after you like misalign it does it form that cube shape. So I didn't think about this at the time, but Daily Puzzles very thankfully gave me a second one. And that, I later found out, is one of the first ways that you learn to solve a ghost cube. It is to get a second one. Oh, pretty. So this one is uh, a transparent one. Man, this, this actually looks incredible. I don't know which one I like more. The carbon fiber one is like, yeah, like this actually feels like, you know, that ninja title. Like this feels like the ghost cube ninja. This feels like it came out of Willy Wonka's factory but I do like it. I'm not gonna be able to solve it now, but would you like to see a scramble? So that's our three by three, and I already regret doing this. <laughs> that is not good. No, 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 that is not good. I don't even know which is the correct way to put it back in. Wait, wait, wait. This way. Dude, why do you come up out so easily? That is not cool. If you just fall out like that, I'm never gonna know the correct way to put you back in. Be right back, I'm gonna grab some blue tack or something. Okay, I've stuck a bit of blue tack in there so it stays now. Man, I hope the other center pieces, oh, they all do. You know what, that's not cool. If you're all gonna fall out like that, I'm not gonna be able to solve you. Oh, let's blue tack them all. Hello friends, I am back. And yes, I did just put blue tack into all six center caps because I have nothing better to do with my life. With that done, let's scramble it. I'm so sorry, Ghost Cube. I'm also so sorry, future me, for inflicting this pain on myself. <laughs> you can still see a bit of blue tack. Good thing I didn't use super glue or anything. You can sort of appreciate why people don't um, <laughs> even want to try and solve it. <laughs> it is so hard to even scramble. How beautiful is that? It looks like um, a cube went into the phantom zone. And that's the ghost cube. Here are Z cubes six uh, keychains. As far as I can tell, they are all pretty um, standard puzzles. I should be able to solve without too much difficulty. Um, except for one that looked a little bit unusual. So two by two. Where's the keychain part? Oh, look. You attach the keychain separately. I really like that. Because you may not even want to use this keychain. A uh, keychain. So they all have a little hole which you can put the thing in. That is so cool. And <laughs> that is so cute. So two by two, uh, three by three. That feels a lot less nice than the two by two up here. Uh, that's, that comes scrambled. Ooh, wow. 
That, my friend, is bull, a bull bearing. Another Penrose cube. Hooray! Um, a pie cube, I think this is called? It's a 3x3 mod, but way easier. And this, I have no idea what this is. Okay, so it turns like a 2x2. Two two. Yep. But the middle's changed. Yep, okay, I got it. Once I scramble this, I will never be able to solve it again. And that's a fact. I want to solve... I want to solve these three. You guys can go back. And let's give these three little guys a solve. Here it means... Technically, I think this is legal, but it would just be very unwise to use it. All right, a quick inspection and... All right, here we go. Oh, this feels so weird. Ugh. Um, what case is this? This is this case. That was very, um, like, finger cramp, muscle cramping, um, but otherwise quite fun. Let's try the pie cube. The pie cube is not wanting to scramble very easily. So I have had a Rubik's cube as a keychain on my bag for a little while now, but the thing is, smart Alex often come along and just scramble it. Thankfully I know how to solve it fairly quickly, but... If I had this as a keychain, yeah. Although, no one would probably turn it because it doesn't even look like a cubic puzzle. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is so strange to solve. All right, that was surprisingly easy. This is not an OL case. That's right, it's got center parodies. Yeah, can you see that? This center over here is misaligned. I think all the others are fine, but this guy is not. Let's fix, uh, how do you fix that guy again? Oh, that's right. I'm remembering now, it's not as easy as I thought. And you can even get um, edge parodies because like this edge could be flipped and you don't actually know it. Oh, that's right, there's no PLL because even if you moved all the, swapped all of the corners and the edges, it still looks like this. Okay, harder than I uh, remembered, but that was pretty fun. Finally, the two by two. Little bit stiff um, if you're comparing this to like speed cubes, but otherwise, I think I like this the most out of all of them. This is probably the one that I would hang on my bag um, if I had to choose one of these as like a keychain. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, come on, finger tricks. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, it's sort of fun. Just a little bit stiff. There we go, my friend. You can hang on one of my bags. Of course, having the keychain bit stick out of it does make it a lot harder to turn and stuff. Anyway. Last, but certainly not least, the MFJS8. This I have been looking forward to for a while. I, as you know, am a big fan of odd numbered cubes because you don't get parodies and everything, but I've been sort of missing having some even numbered cubes in my collection recently. So I already have seven, a nine, 11, and a 15. Um, so I think it's time for some even cubes. This is surprisingly small for an eight. It feels a lot like, like a seven by seven in terms of like size, really, really small squares. So that probably explains why, uh, in terms of turning, that is not too bad. Uh, the MFJS nine, which I also have a budget nine by nine. <laughs> the whole concept of like a budget nine by nine is just crazy. It turns really, really nicely too. It's very, very smooth. And this is quite similar. A little bit stiff maybe, but um, I know that like a solve or two will um, help. Should I solve it? Yeah, yeah, I should solve it. It's gonna take me a little while though. 
Eh, let's give it a go. Yeah. All right, well, that was fun. It is so much looser now, and well, smoother now. Not, not like loose per se. Now that I've, now that I've given it one solve. Um, yeah, that was surprisingly fun. And I actually do recommend this of, of all the puzzles that I've looked at so far. I mean, not, none of them have been like WCA um, puzzles, but this one's, you know, probably a more serious, like, you know, cubic puzzle. I actually really recommend this. Not that you've got many choices as far as eight by eights go, but this one's pretty amazing. Definitely a collector's item. Uh, and for its price, very, very reasonable. I wonder what it would feel like with magnets. There are um, cubes out there who, who magnetize big cubes and then do crazy stuff with it, like um, CK Lewis or something, I think that's his name. He's amazing, super underrated. Like you should check him out and subscribe. He does big cubes super fast. I recommend this guy. And that brings us to the end of this crazy unboxing. So many of these puzzles were totally not what I expected, but I'm so glad they're in my collection. I'm gonna force myself now to pick some favorites, which is really hard, but I would say my favorite one to hold is probably this guy. There's something about the texture and I don't know, the way it's built. It is just so nice. And then my favorite one to turn would probably be this guy because it just, wait, how do you do it again? Oh yeah, that's right. It just makes no sense. Like, why does that corner go there? Ugh. It's mind melting. Speaking of mind melting, the most like ridiculous puzzle here that I don't know if I'll ever be able to solve has to be this one. This would be my top most ridiculous puzzle. Uh, but otherwise overall winner would have to be the one that I think I'll be using the most would be the eight by eight. There's definitely a longevity in this guy. Ooh, let's do a little checkerboard thingy because we can. Yay, pretty. All right, humans, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, check out Daily Puzzles, proud sponsor of this video. And I'm gonna go lie down because my brain hurts. Bye.